Ivy, you're pale as a ghost. What's the matter? I... If, with all the excitement, I guess I just forgot to eat. Today I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Chin Chin! I thought we might share a toast to my success, making Ethan realize he must marry Gwen. <laughs> Your success? Of course. My son knows better than to disappoint his father. So, if you'll both raise your glass to the happy couple. Cheers. I'd hold off on that bubbly. Gwen isn't laughing anymore. Ethan wouldn't call off the wedding. He, he just wouldn't do that. He won't do, and I'll see to that. This merger's worth billions to our family. This is not a business deal. It's a wedding. Define it however you like, Ivy. The fact is, it's going to happen. I'll see to that right now. No, you will not. If he is going to talk to anyone, it will not be you. Well, why the hell not? I'm his father. Would you two just shut up? We may have a major catastrophe on our hands here. Oh, well, let's just calm down, because Ethan and, and Gwen, they still may be able to work this out. This is all your fault. If you had just listened to me when I first had my suspicions about Teresa, we wouldn't be watching this whole wedding unravel. She has a point, dear. Oh, please. You're the one who's been encouraging Ethan to bed Teresa since she first set foot into the mansion. Oh, that's a minor technicality. In any case, I'm sure Alistair will investigate this thoroughly in my bet. So you will be the one to fall farthest. After all, you did hire the lovely Teresa to be your assistant. I think the first person Alistair's going to want to talk to is Pilar. Mm. Well, it's obvious she got her little trampy little daughter to go after Ethan so she could have a rich son-in-law. That is ridiculous. Pilar would never do that sort you of You must thing. forgive my wife. She's very close to the hired help. Oh, I'm very close to the hired help. That's a laugh. I couldn't agree with you more about Pilar. I'm sure father will stop at nothing to get to the bottom of this. But who knows? You may stumble across your sordid secrets along the way. Hmm? You were right all along, Mother. Ethan just called off the wedding. He is in love with Teresa. Oh, oh Gwen. Don't you worry, Teresa is not going to get away with this. I swear to you, you will be Mrs. Ethan Gray. Listen to Mommy, dearest Gwen. No son of mine is going to marry the housekeeper's daughter. 